New at 10, a manhunt mix up. The Bandera County Sheriff's Office announced earlier today fugitive Frida Thomas had been captured in Mexico. Turns out federal agents had the wrong person. Tonight, investigators are still searching for the woman accused of killing 88 year old Robert Isaacs five months ago. Ken's Five reporter Megan Dana has been following this case from the start. And Megan, how did this mistake happen in the first place? Well, we're working to figure that out tonight, ECs, but I'm told by the family that the U.S. Marshals were following a lead that Frida Thomas was in Mexico. They told the Bandera County Sheriff's Office they had her captured in custody, so they posted it to Facebook. But just hours later, the U.S. Marshals notified them that the woman in custody was not Frida Thomas. I find it to be the worst April Fool's Day information, misinformation that I've ever gotten. Stephanie Holin has gone through a wave of emotions Monday. For a few hours, she believed investigators had captured her grandfather's accused killer. It's also not so much a relief as a deep breath and you're like, finally, after after five months, this person who who took my grandfather's life there they're finally going to be held accountable. So she thought when she realized they did not in fact have the suspect Frida Thomas in custody, Holland says she quickly went back into search mode. We are very much still looking for her. Robert Isaacs was last seen in November entering his Bandera home with Thomas. His strangled body was found days after he was reported missing off I-10 west of Crockett County. According to court documents, he was wrapped in a tent that Thomas had been living in. Documents also reveal Isaacs and Thomas have been talking on the phone for 10 days prior to his death and $25,000 was missing from Isaac's safe. To carry out this crime and move things around, it, this is a very smart, very dangerous criminal. And I would just advise people to keep an eye on their older relatives. And while Holland is upset her grandfather suspected killer is still out there, she says she's trying to focus on the positive. And it does give me hope that they are looking for her in another country. And I did reach out to the U.S. Marshals to get more insight into this mistake. I have not heard back yet. If you know anything about where Frida Thomas could be, give the Bandera County Sheriff's Office a call. Reporting in the newsroom, Megan Reyna, Kins 5. Well,